So we have two beakers A and B containing strong bases. Beaker A has 500 centimeter cube of BaOH2 and then of unknown concentration. And then beaker B has 400 centimeter cube of potassium hydroxide KOH of concentration 0.1 mole per decimeter cube. And then 7.1 says so uh, define uh, a base according to Arrhenius theory. A base according uh, to Arrhenius theory ionizes to form hydroxide ions. So that's basically the definition of a base according to Arrhenius theory. A base ionizes to form hydroxide ions. And then 7.2 7.2 says calculate the number of moles of hydroxide ions in beaker B. So what makes up beaker B? In beaker B, we are told that in beaker B we have KOH, right? And then when this uh, ionizes, it will give you K plus plus OH minus, right? We are given information about KOH. So from the information we have about KOH, we'll then be able to find the number of moles of OH. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are told that the concentration is equal to 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cube. And then at the volume, it is given as uh, 400 a centimeter cube uh, which uh, we have to convert to decimeter cube right uh, we divide by a thousand so we're gonna get um, 0 0.4 decimeter cube now we can find the moles of koh and then use that to find the moles of oh using the balancing coefficients so we're gonna get n of koh is equal to c uh, multiplied by v right uh, we're saying that because we know that the concentration is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume. So we're using that formula. So N of KOH will be equal to, what is the concentration? 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cube. And what's the volume? 0 0.4 uh, decimeter cube. Uh, this will give us 0 0.04. Uh, moles right and then now we can use this number of moles of koh to determine the number of moles of uh, oh minus right so we're gonna say the number of moles of koh divided by the number of moles of oh minus uh, is equal to one divided by one because that's the balancing coefficients so basically the number of moles of oh minus is just equal to the number of moles of koh uh, which is equal to 0 0.04 moles and that's how you do uh 7.2 and then moving ahead uh, we have 7.3 which says the contents of because of because a and b are added together in because c the solution is in because c has a ph of uh, 13 so we have ph equals 13 and then from ph before we go any further we can determine the poh right because we know that uh, ph uh, plus poh equals to 14 so that will say uh, poh equals to 14 uh, minus 13 so poh is equals to 1 okay let's move forward so it goes on to say that um Assume that the volumes are additive and that the temperature of the solution is 25 degrees Celsius. And then um, 7.3.1 says, calculate the concentration X of the BaOH2 in beaker A. So what is happening? Uh, beaker A is being poured uh, to beaker C, right? And then beaker B is being poured to beaker um, C. So Bika A has its own um, number of moles of OH, right? And uh, that will be poured to Bika C. And then Bika B also has its own number of moles that are going to be poured to uh, Bika C. And then the number of moles in Bika A are unknown, but the number of moles on Bika N and in Bika, in Bika B are known. And then we can use uh, the pH to find the number of moles of OH minus in BKC. 
So what we're going to do, we're going to find the number of moles of OH in beaker C. And then after that, we'll subtract the number of moles in beaker B. And then what will be left is the number of moles in beaker A. <coughs> so if we go ahead and do that, let's find the number of moles uh, in beaker C. So we have POH equals to 1 like we determined above right and then we know that to calculate poh we use the concentration of uh, oh minus so we're gonna have uh, minus log oh minus it was to one so we're gonna have uh, log uh, oh minus equals to minus one and now to solve for oh we can say uh, oh minus is equals to 10 to the power minus one you can always do that it always work so if you take 10 to the power minus one uh, you're gonna get oh minus is equals to 0 0.1 so we have the concentration of oh <coughs> minus in bkc now we can find the number of moles right so uh, the number of moles of oh minus will be equals to the concentration multiply by the volume right what's the concentration it's what we just determined is 0.1 and then what's the volume the volume it is says to it is said to be additive right so we're going to add the volume of bka a and the volume of bka b so that will be 500 centimeter cube plus 400 centimeter cube divided by 1000 and then if I get this, I put this in my calculator, I'm getting a 0 0.09 uh, moles, right? So now we have the number of moles of Bika C, which is equal to the number of moles of Bika B plus the number of moles of Bika A. The number of moles of Bika, of Bika C is 0 0.09. The number of moles of Bika B is what we calculated in 7.2, and that was... Uh, I think 0 0.04, right? And then <coughs> plus the number of moles of BKA. So the number of moles of BKA will be equal to 0 0.09 minus 0 0.04, which is equal to 0 0.05. So now we have the number of moles in BKA. So we can use that to calculate uh, the number of moles of uh, BAOH2. So BA uh oh2 uh when it ionizes uh it becomes uh ba plus 2 oh right so we can see that uh, the balancing coefficient is a uh, 1 is to 2 so we're going to have the number of moles of uh, ba oh2 divided by the number of moles of oh uh, being equals to 1 divided by 2, right? So we're going to have uh, the number of moles of BAOH2 equals to the number of moles of OH uh, divided by 2. So that is equal to 0 0.05 uh, divided by 2. If I put that in my calculator, I get uh, 0 0.025. So now we have the number of moles of BaOH2. We can then calculate the concentration. We know that concentration equals the number of moles uh, divided by uh, V, right? The volume. The number of moles is 0 0.025. And the volume is the volume of BKA, not BKA and B added together. So we're going to have 500 divided by 1000. And then if you put this in your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.05 mole divided by decimeter cube, uh, which is equals to X. And then uh, we can move forward. Um, 7.3.2, it starts with a statement there that says, uh, the solution in BKC is tritate. The solution in BKC is titrated with ethanoic acid. It was fine. The solution in Baker C is titrated with ethanoic acid. It was found that a 15 centimeter cube of the solution neutralizes 30 centimeter cube of the acid. And then uh, we are given a balance equation. And then 7.3.2 says, is ethanoic acid a weak acid or a strong acid? At this point of time, you should know that ethanoic acid 
it's a weak acid and then it says give a reason for the answer in grade 12 you will only provide one reason for why an acid is weak that is to say it ionizes incompletely and then 7.3.3 says calculate the concentration of uh, the ethanoic acid right so they neutralized completely so let me write the equation again so we have ch3 coh plus oh minus uh, which is giving us uh, ch3 coo minus uh, plus h2o so again we can use the number of moles of one to find the number of moles of the other if you pay careful attention when you are doing problems in chemical equilibrium and acid and base you always relate in the number of moles right you start uh, with one and then you try to figure out the other and vice versa so that we have information for OH which we can use uh, to determine the concentration of the ethanol case. So we determine the concentration of OH uh, minus in 7.3.1, uh, right? And it was 0 0.1 uh, moles per decimeter cube. And then uh, we're given the volume uh, to be uh, 15 a centimeter cube which will have to uh, convert to decimeter cube so the number of moles from this will be given by uh, the number of moles equals to the concentration uh, multiplied by the volume right uh, the concentration is 0 0.1 and then the volume is given as 15 centimeter uh, cube so that will be 0 0.1 multiplied by 15 divided by a thousand we divided it by a thousand because we convert into uh, decimeter uh, cube uh, that will give us 0 0.0015 uh, moles, right? Uh, we can see <coughs> the balancing coefficient that this is 1 and this is 1, right? So the number of moles of OH equals to the number of moles of our uh, ethanoic acid. So to, to calculate the concentration of ethanoic acid, we're going to say concentration equals to number of moles uh, divided by volume and then we know that the number of moles is the same as the number of moles of OH because the balancing coefficients are the same right so we're gonna have a 0 0.0015 and then what is the volume the volume is given as 30 centimeter cube so we're gonna have 30 uh, divided by 1000 uh, which is gonna give us let me put that in my calculator real quick so we have 0 0.0015 divided by um, 30 uh, divided by 1000 uh, that is equal to 0 0.05 uh, moles per decimeter cube and then you get your 18 marks